All right, let's go on to the fourth inning. Rangers, of course, clinched the playoff spot with their win over the Isles last night. Guys, this NHL season has really been a lot more exciting because it's being led by some exciting young guns. Alexander Ovechkin, Yegeny Malkin, Sidney Crosby, just to name a few. And with all these guys in the playoffs, Brandon, can the NHL regain its place as one of the big four sports again? One of the big four? How about one of the big ten? I mean, NFL, baseball, NBA, NCAA hoops, golf, the Masters is coming, World Premier Soccer, NASCAR, Tennis. I mean, the list is so long in terms of sports that, that dwarf hockey. However, uh, well, however, man. however, <laughs> I will say, Scotty the purist on the other side, I can't believe that Scott is the purist with anything, but he is with hockey. I'll give him his due. He loves it, and he knows it as well as anybody in this medium. But now is the time to jump on. If you're a fringe fan, now you say, you know what? This is what I've been waiting for. Hockey playoffs with no shootouts where every shot matters is as exciting as it gets in sports. Hey, they're going to sell out every single seat for every Ranger game, every Devil game. They're going to be rocking every night. The intensity, the speed, the hitting, the fighting, the goaltending. Well, there's no uh, fighting, Scotty, in the postseason. Yeah, no, no fighting in the postseason. Well, it, it's a uh, you got to be smart and pick your spots. But I think this weekend has a lot of intrigue, too. I told you last night the Rangers would beat the Islanders. They'll finish them off again tonight at the uh, Garden because the Islanders' season is toast. And Sunday against the Devils at the Rock, I would love to see it come down to who gets the home ice. Plus, they're going to meet in the playoffs. So get ready. I think New Yorkers and people in New Jersey are going to love this series. Uh, Brodeur against Lundqvist. Bring it on. Hey, uh, hey Scotty, I, I understand your point, but I think it goes back to the ratings, though. And you got NBC, you got no versus. Ratings. Yeah, they're ratings. all losing all this money Listen, on the Listen, let NHL. me tell you something. People have been complaining about their ratings. ratings. Look at baseball's ratings are lousy. The NBA ratings are lousy. And the NHL has attendance up three years in a row since the lockout. And I can guarantee you one thing. You can make fun of it all you want. They're on NBC. They're on Versus, they're on NHL Network, and I believe in the next one, on two years they'll be back on ESPN. On they're not First going. All, the they, NHL's they, not going anywhere. Well, it's not. No, I agree. It's not going. It's not going to just dissipate. It's not going to fold up shop and leave town. But it's never going to flourish because right now, look at their TV deal. They work on a barter system. They're not making big money. They are bartering out time. It's disgraceful. And and here's where I'll disagree with you, Scotty. You know, the fans in this great city, oh, they'll be all over the blue shirts. The Devil fans, hey, how about showing up to watch your team win a cup? They were winning cups. And they weren't even selling out games. That's because they played in that. They played in a dump, and it now they got the matter. nicest arena in the NHL. Well, They're going to be full. A dump, and they it, still show listen, up there. no, they don't. Well, you I, know what? I, I, I got twenty thousand hey, look, and nine. Brandon's got a point. You got Carolina against the Devils. Eighteen thousand people came to Carolina to see the game. Here locally, only seventy-five thousand people watched that game. People uh, just are not watching the NHL. I guarantee.